Hi everybody and welcome to our 32nd day together of our 40 day journey and today has just been awesome. Uh, awesome for tons of reasons, uh, but uh, part of it is that I took the afternoon off. Uh, part of it is I got this spiffy new haircut. Uh, part of it is I'm gonna go have a beer with a friend. Anyway, uh, spiffy day aside, uh, we're continuing talking about our fears. And I mentioned yesterday that I would share a little bit about some of the really big fear drivers that I had and some of the really big fear drivers that we see that are really common in folks. But that's not going to be the real takeaway today. The takeaway today is that I really want you to, and I'll hit on this again, I really want you to. I more than want, I really do pray and hope and send energy and send love that you get your arms around those fears and either release them or confront them courageously uh, and and get past that and get past that final little drag piece because tomorrow we're going to start replacing that space that is currently occupied by those fears with something new and cool uh, and that is what you really want. So let's talk about those big fear pieces again. Some of the ones that really disabled me were the fear of abandonment, uh, the fear of rejection, the fear of loss of popularity. Those were ones that were really, when I dug deep past some surface level stuff, those are the ones that I found. And what's interesting is a couple of those I had been carrying around for probably since early childhood. Uh, I, I, I talked with uh, my growth partner a little bit today about an issue that I was you know, carrying around from that period of time. And that release of those kinds of fears are so freeing when you get to that point. But again, you got to dig deep to get there. This has got to come out of your meditative practice. You've got to really, really think about it, not be satisfied with your first approach to it, and really think, you know, I, I, I understand that I said I was, you know, I heard one the other day, you know, I'm afraid of uh, dying. Well, you know what? That wasn't the truth, and I called her on it. I think a lot of people were shocked that I called her on it. She wasn't afraid of dying. She was afraid of living. She was afraid of living and committing to a life without fear and, and a life with some risk and a life with gusto and zest. And I called her out on it and uh, uh, she was pretty shocked by that. But later she acknowledged that that was true. She was afraid of life. She wasn't afraid of death at all. Uh, death, the death process begins the day after we're born or the day we're born. Nothing to be afraid of there. Fear of the unknown is really another one of those that it's not really about unknown. It's about, do you fear losing control? Do you fear, uh, do you fear being uh, rejected or pushed aside? And again, it takes more than just a cursory view to get that. And once you get that, that's where you have all the power over those fears because once you scratch off the cursory junk and know really where it's coming from and how deeply rooted those are, now you can begin the release process. Now you can begin the process of confronting these fears and going boldly after each one of those. i uh, kind of proud of myself. I went after one of mine today. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I went after one of mine today and you know what? I, I'm not sure it's going to end exactly well, uh, and I don't really care. The point of it is I confronted it. I confronted it courageously. Uh, there was a time not that many months ago, I didn't know if I'd ever confront that fear or not. It was so disabling, and I was carrying it around. Uh, so anyway, again, my highest encouragement today, and tomorrow we're going to move into replacing these fears and talking about manifesting the things that you really, really want, and and placing that out there and projecting that out there. And that's going to be our last kind of superpower skill in our, in our journey to awesome. So hang with me through these last few days, but really, really go after these skill after these fears, identify a drop dead date where you're going to either release or confront and really spend some deep look into where those fears are coming from and, and not just the cursory ones, but the real base ones. Guys, I hope you have a splendid rest of the evening, and I look forward to interacting with you with tomorrow uh, when we begin manifesting some good out there. Have a great evening, everybody.